Today we're having a look at the fifths. Now, fifths is how we tune our instrument, yeah? So, for example, from D to A, the middle two strings, is a fifth. And just like the octave in the unison, it's a perfect interval. Yeah, so that's why we tune in it, because it's easy to say whether it's right or wrong. Yeah, you have consonant and dissonant intervals, they're open to interpretation. But a perfect interval is either right or wrong, and tuning in fifths, therefore, is either right or wrong. Hence, your instrument tends to be better in tune if you tune using a perfect interval. Um, now, to play fifth, you have to aim your finger between the two strings you need and lean a little bit on both. Yeah? Something like... Now, if I change the roll of my finger, at the moment I'm leaning a little bit towards the lower string, then I'm going to go out of tune. I suggest you faff around with that for a while, because that's how we learn to tune fifths. And because we only have one finger, we can't really change the angle of the finger, because it's only one finger. All you have is this slight roll leaning into the higher or the lower string in order to change the intonation and to tune your fifth. Yeah. Now, fifths on fourth finger are rare. Yeah. Most composers understand that that's awkward because your little finger tends to be too small to play a fifth. Uh, but the other fingers, it's worth experimenting with. Now, today's exercise is about fifths, but it's about the diminished fifth. And that basically means your fifth is a semitone, too small. Now, that means something like this. If you have first finger on the D and the A string, you have an E on the D string and the B on the A string. Yeah? So that's your fifth. However, a diminished fifth is when my first finger stays where it is on the D string and I need a low first finger on the next string. Yeah? Now we can't play it as a double stop with one finger anymore, of course. But the minus fifth is the last fifth of every single scale, because there's two semitones in there. You have two semitones and two tones in that fifth, and that's what makes it the minus fifth. Now, it's a good exercise to learn to relax your thumb, because you need to be able to move that one finger forward and backward. Yeah? And the same with the second finger, and the third finger, and the fourth finger. Now today's exercise, as always, we're going to be very slow, we're starting at 40. Um, and we're only going to do this exercise on the middle two strings. Next video up, I'll do it on the lower two strings. And the next video, I'll do it on the higher two strings. Yeah? And then in the last two videos, at 100 and 120, we'll be combining all three exercises. Yeah? I'm not going to do all possible fifths in this one exercise today, because that exercise would be way too long at 40 beats a minute, but we will do it later on when you've practiced each individual string, well, each pairing of strings, at least already. Yeah, so let's give this a go. Um, the diminished fifth at 40. So we start with the first finger on the D string, and after that, it all goes lot chromatics, which means a lot of semitone changes with the finger. Yeah? So, let's find our first note. So, D to E. And, as I said, lots of chromatics. So, the next note is going to be immediately a low first finger on the same string. So, we're going to go from E. Immediately to E flat. And then a fifth to the B flat. Yeah, that's how we start. After that, it gets more difficult. So, good luck. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Low. High. 
high first, low first, high, low next, prepare low first, Two, next, high, low, high, and low, high, Third finger now, high, low, fifth, high, this is a weird sounding and fairly complicated exercise but give it a good go yeah the next exercise it's the same pattern yes it will be different strings but we do exactly the same yeah so take your time get comfortable with what it sounds like the flexibility of your finger high first low first high second low second high third low third normal four low four yeah so mess around with it and Get the flexibility. Try to pay attention that you don't squeeze with your thumb. It does make it a lot easier if your left wrist and thumb are relaxed. Yeah. Good luck and uh, I'll see you when we do it on the lower two strings at 60. Bye bye.